guys, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and um, today's date is Thursday 5th of September, 8 in the morning. Now, I am now got a headset, hang on a sec. That is it. Um, I do have a remote control, well not a great re remote control. Um... I do have a little hand piece that I can work with and I'm just going to try something to see if this works. Did you hear me say something? Um, what I just did there was counter to five. So even when I replay this, I'll get this back. I um, have a bit of a cough. And I'm hoping that this muting will actually, this mute button works. This is the first time I've done it. So hopefully it works. Because what it does is I can actually hit the pause button, hit the mute button and cough without you guys having to hear it. So what I have done though is, and I know I've seen them before, is shopping spree stuff. So I thought I'd do one um, because what I brought in here might get some interest from you guys to say, yes, you're interested. Um, but so this I went to Spotlight and I forgot to take my sorry, I forgot to take my uh, bag in. So yes, I purchased a new Spotlight bag. These things are huge. But there's quite a few goodies in there. I'm going to put my bag down. Uh, oops. I'm going to put my bag down and I will pull some stuff out. Actually, hang on a sec. Okay, what I just did was just pause for a sec um, while I got everything out of the bag and sorted it into piles or grouped it. I shouldn't say piles. Piles is not a good thing to say. Um, so diamond painting related purchases for this and yet again pause here. That pause was just to bring this camera down a little bit. Um, yes yesterday I got my nails done again. Go with green. I'm not a green person but I thought I'd give it a go. Now I've got two, oh actually no, three rhinestones on that finger and then she put one down there and one up there. Um, yeah, it's like surprise me and she says, oh well what colour and I pick a colour and there we go. Anyway, purchases yesterday. I brought some washi tape, um, Crafter's Choice washi tape. I'm finding I'm having to segment off the clear covers. I'm... Clear covers are good, but for the fact that I actually have to take them and segment them, it, it, it frustrates me because if I don't do that while I'm pulling the plastic down, I end up tearing the plastic and it, yeah, annoys the hell out of me. I have also bought uh, an adhesive razor. So, removes adhesive residue. So I'm going to try that on the edge of um, some of my diamond paintings. Um, and when I do the resin boards, you know, I've got, I sometimes get tape stuck, tape resin stuck to the board, so that I'm going to use that. So the washi tape was diamond painting related. This is in related to doing resin, doing my resin boards. Um, and here we go. Michelle, if you're watching this, how are those two oranges going? What I'll do is um, I will look at using these two colours and putting some tints into them to change the colours a little bit. One is a bright orange, one is a burnt orange and I might also use a sienna but this is um, Americano Deco Art. So yeah, Michelle, I hope they're the colours that you're chasing. Um, <clears throat> I haven't gone and got the boards yet but I've got some colours so hopefully they are the colours that will suit. So then going from, actually, going from there, I will bring in now the stuff in relation to resin. 
um, to the cover minders. I have brought a small dome silicon resin mold. So I'm going to try that. Um, it is a, a for chocolate cake decorating. Um, sweet, ideal for sweet, savoury dishes, suitable for microwave, oven, and microwave, oven, and freezer use, and it's dishwasher safe. So I'm going to try that to make um, cover minders. So this is just be the just do plain cover minders. Um, I'll just take that out, and that can go in the bin. So just as plain cover minders. Um, where I could put quite a bit of decoration in them. So in the way of decoration, because what I'd like to do is be able to actually put these on top of the magnets. So I've got to put magnets on, but these are the decoration, some of the decorations that I'd like to put in there. So there we go. The roses. I got roses with pink ribbons, and then I got rose purple rose, rose ribbons. So I'm going to try those. Now the idea is, is that I got magnetic strip and hopefully these will sit over the magnetic strip when I put the magnet in. Okay, if I put that up there. Um, and that way you won't see the magnet. So that's where I'm going to give a go. Um, what I'm contemplating is I'll do a clear resin with the purple and then I'll do one underneath with a purple tint to it. So that then the one that's the top bit is hidden. The top magnet is hidden by the by the ribbon and the bottom magnet is hidden by the colouring tint. And then you can actually match them up or maybe mix them up, match them. Okay, so that's that side of it. And then I got these. So I don't know how these will go because these are plastic. But if they're only use them once, that's all good. So what are they? They are actually heart chocolate mould. And you can see the hearts. So I think they'll make cute um, cover minders, top and bottom. Both sides I do believe would be okay. Maybe pour the bottom one a little bit thinner. And then I got teddy bears. Um, and I could possibly be able to actually paint these in with the black eyes and the white in the ears um, and then the rest of it one colour. So I'm going to give those guys a go. Yet again, if it doesn't work, so be it. But if it does, they're going to be pretty big cover minders. So they're going to be really cool. Uh, so that's it the resin wise. Now I have tried to do something with um, some diamond painting so this is going to be interesting. I have tried um, and I used a material that just wasn't suitable but I'm going to try and make a cushion out of two or three of my diamond paintings and the plan is is that I will put the pale blue material. I will also be I got fabric grew um, industrial strength <laughs> adhesive <laughs> now I have seen someone do this already um, I have seen somebody do this I'll pop her I'll pop the video in here so that you can have a look at Actually, no, I'll put a name down the bottom, a link to her page down the bottom. When I actually do this, I will actually put the link to the actual video um, to the one that I went to. But the idea is the fabric on the back and I will be putting a ribbon on. It's just I believe the ribbon was going to make it easier. So stay tuned for that one. And I just got simple cardstock. Um, I have a new storage system and um, I've tried it and I found that I actually need cardstock so to go inside the bags. 
Um, so yeah, that's another one to keep an eye out. Um, so yeah. Um, actually, on that note, I will take that through to you with um, my new storage. However, this will be changing. <laughs> Changing it a little bit up, changing it up a bit and you'll see why. So this is, this is actually a photo album and it's a good size photo album. Um, what I have started to do is, um, I brought these and are they, now there's glare, hang on. Let's see if I can pop that down a bit. No, I'll have to actually turn it right off. Okay, that gets rid of that glare. So what it is, is actually two, four bigger pockets and then four smaller pockets. Uh, what I will be doing is actually going and purchasing ones just with all the same size smaller pockets. Um, but I thought the bigger pockets were good. And this is actually a photo album. Um, the reason why I want to go with the smaller is these ones at the top are actually starting to fall out if I don't keep it upright. But in that... The reason why I wanted the cardstock is because I've got bags that have just got the DMC number on and I don't know what company they came from. Whereas I have these two here. One is from my company and one is from DIY Moon. So um, what I'm doing is using the repositioning well, labels from my label maker onto the card and then writing the company on there. Um, might find a better way to do that. I might be able to create labels on my printer. Um, but yeah, so now I know where diamond paintings, where the, where the drills came from. So that's from Gemmet. This is why I need a label maker. Look at my finger, my writing. It's horrible. But yeah, you can see that I have DIY Moon, I have Gemmet and I have God knows what companies some of the others are from. Some will be ever moment. So it's really, I, I thought that was a good idea to be able to keep a track on. Some of my projects may need, have, might, ha, might have a drill pop out be, between completing and framing it. And this way I have, I can go, well, it was DIY Moon or it was Gemmet and I have leftovers and that are, they are the exact colours that were used. Okay, so that's that side of it. And then what I did do, um, I also have, so this is a photo, it is a photo album, but what I did do is I just popped, just simply pop this in there. Um, if I leave it, oops, bit of paper. If I leave it like that, because I stand it up like a book, this is going to end up um, sagging. And all the other ones that I put in here will sag as well. So if I <laughs> if I do any small ones, I'll put them in here. Um, and they can just go in there into a portfolio so that they're put away nicely somewhere. But yeah, that's um, the, that's why I brought the cardstock is to do that. And um, I could have gone white cardstock, but I'm a purple person. So this is my round drills because I do keep my square drills in the... Um, Elizabeth Ward bead containers um, but yeah so that's that side of it so that's a little shopping trip I had yesterday um, uh, so I had yeah the, yesterday was um, I went to the doctor to do an update on to find out the, my test results um, and it's not bad news. It is some news. Um, hang on a sec. Oh, no, another coughing fit. Um, it wasn't too bad of a news, but um, won't be an issue. When... Let's just say the stress of it's gone. Yes, there is follow-up stuff to go, but it's not as bad as what it could have been. Um, yeah, what it could have been was 
the, the initial concern was what happened was possible bladder cancer and it's not that so yay it's not as scary as what I thought it was because that was my big concern and um, yeah good news good 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 news for me so hopefully you enjoyed this little video um, the idea with the the um, cover minders I'll be working on the cover minders probably in the next half an hour I'll start on the cover minders to give them a go um, once I finish my co morning coffee um, and on that note hopefully my muting means that I can actually drink my coffee and you don't hear me slurping um, so yeah I'm going to go and give some of this resin go resin a go I'm hoping the UV light does not affect the plastic I know it won't affect the silicon but I hope it doesn't affect the plastic um, and I do believe I'm going to have to cut these so that I can put them in one at a time to set um, and the other side of that is I'm going to have to find a way to, well probably some books, to raise that UV light up and then put alfoil over so that then I'm not getting UV light on my eyes. Because I do believe that that UV light on my eyes might do some damage and I don't want to do that. So thank you guys for watching um, and um, I hope you enjoy my next video which will be actual making some cover minders which um, they'll be going out to a few of my couple of my subscribers just as a little surprise for two ways because I want to get their opinion because opinions count <laughs> very much um, because the way I'm doing these I haven't seen done before and the other way other thing about that I will also be able to work out how to package and post them off and then I know how much if anybody wants I might be able to at least give a price on how much to charge for postage because postage is the bigger killer um, to the three ladies that received my diamond paintings the customs so to Cindy B, Kathy, and Nan um, <laughs> the freight cost more <laughs> than what the diamond painting did so um, I need to be able to work out a good way to send these um, by being small packages they won't be too much of an issue but yeah hopefully you guys like what I've purchased and that gives you an idea of where I'm going with what I'm doing um, I got a request for resin boards in particular a color for um, serving boards um, and it is within Australia so I'm not too concerned about the cost of freight although however I do believe um, Michelle will actually is prepared to pay for for the I don't know I don't know whether I want to charge her for the the board but just the freight um, because Michelle actually gave me a diamond painting pen and a couple of cover minders um, and I'd like to give her something back because um, you know I I love the fact that I receive stuff but I just feel like I have to give back um, and this is something really personal for her um, I didn't know she was going to give me something when I met her and I was in Cairns so I had nothing to give her back as a as a as a thank you so this will be as a thank you I might ask for Michelle I might ask you pay freight but I will do it as a thank you um, I do have um, some gift certificates for where I got those um, serving boards from so those serving boards aren't going to cost me anything at all so um, yeah hopefully um, this actually I know you want this for your mum for Christmas so we'll see how we go um, with those two colours with a couple of different possible um, shade changes in that so yeah as per usual give me a thumbs up leave me a comment let me know if these are something you're interested in the cover minders I think I do have some people have mentioned the cover minders seen that what I'm planning to do and have gone yeah count me in um, so yeah leave a comment um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit that little bell I'm actually going to get a little bell so I can go tinkle 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 
Oh, that sounds... <coughs> Oops, that's... <laughs> I don't think I should say that often. Um, but yeah, subscribe, hit the bell, be notified um, of um, future upcoming stuff. And I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.